Good morning, everybody. Welcome back on this lovely Wednesday. The, th the was this was this March fourth? All right, man. Time's flying. Can't believe how fast this year's going. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you, Dennis, Chuck, Bonnie, everybody. Good to see you, Grant. Bali, everyone. All right, so it looks like the market's got a nice little jump after a nice little big catastrophe yesterday we had. We were down, um, geez, I thought we were going to break that well, 1,000 yesterday. We're up, what, 540 right now? I guess they, you know, the, the rumor is that after the primary elections yesterday, the Democratic Party, uh, looks like Biden obviously uh, blew uh, Bernie a little bit out of the water yesterday. And, you know, Wall Street does like that. You know, once again, Wall Street's a little nervous of Bern a socialist, uh, you know, kind of taxing everybody in the stock market. So looks like the stock market does like it. And looks like we got a little recovery. Now, does that have to do with the coronavirus? My God, who's talking about coronavirus anymore? Well, you know what? A lot of coronavirus stocks are still moving. We we were trading this stock uh, INO. Let me just bring this one up right here. Jesus, this thing is like unbelievable all over the place. This stock you, shook me out yesterday. Okay, made me get back in, and then shook me out again. I'm telling you, I let me just change the time frame on this. I th look at this thing after hours. I don't know where this hell this thing came from, but. You know, when we were watching it at 2.30, it was just a great steady move. And you could see it had a nice little pop. And then all of a sudden, like, this thing was moving like 20 cents a minute. For you to buy this stock, you had to risk 20 cents. 20 cents on 1,000 shares is $200. And if you were trying to make 200, it means you had to risk 400 to make that 200. It was under, it was ridiculous. And then after hours, I don't know what the hell happened. Thing just popped the last minute. Went from uh, 8 50 which and all of a sudden it just tanked to seven and shot up to like nine dollars i mean that is just unbelievable and now look where it is so obviously being a pharmaceutical stock i think they got i think i, I posted a news on it something about their uh, phase one trial actually was pretty good and some gave it upgrade to like 14 dollars. so listen this stock is crazy okay even i would even tell you that so listen be careful looking at but a thousand though, it's only an eight dollar stock yeah let me know how that works out for you, but all I know is that this is not a <laughs> this is not a penny spread, and this stock has 20 cent swings in one minute. So uh, anyway, we did pretty well on that one. A couple other ones I want to talk about regarding uh, the market. Now you know I'm not a fan of trading ETFs, but when you have a day like yesterday and the market is just so damn volatile, the VIX did unbelievable. Okay. You had the VIX, you had uh, UVXY, you had T TVIX. You know, though, you know, there were a couple of brand name stocks that we traded, and um, you, you know, I, I, Delta was uh, brings a, a mind to. You. By the way, that Delta trade, I want to bring that up for you guys being class. I'm a huge fan of Delta. It obviously, had great, great news uh, regarding, you know, uh, yesterday and uh, actually the day before where. You know, a huge, huge, big buyer came in there to buy the stock, buy the stock and want to own it. And, uh, you know, the thing you got to look at is that when it, you know, when it comes to that, if I didn't take a loss yesterday, and by the way, it's a good loss. Uh, I think I lost like $100 on, 120 If I didn't take a $100 loss, and actually it was like a $400 winner. If I didn't take a, because I, I was looking to make it into a swing trade. If I didn't get out of it, it would have been an $800 loss. So remember the big thing that we teach here at Cyber Trade University. We're not here to teach you how to make money. We're here to teach you how to stop losing it. Once you stop learning how to lose, that's how you learn how to start making money. But all those stocks did really well yesterday, and that's all that matters. Now, let's go through the watch list because there are some really, really good stocks that are moving this morning. Now, obviously, if you're looking uh, – remember I told you about how to do a swing trade, right? When the worst of the worst of the worst news comes out, okay, and the biggest catastrophe, and – and more bad news comes out and you don't see the thing going down anymore, that's when you know it's time to buy, all right? So, you know, with, with that big news, we had a we had a big spike yesterday regarding about they cut the Fed rate by a half a percent. Um, and that was actually pretty bad news, they said. I, I couldn't believe that. But, you know, you got a big rally, and I think the rally, at, once again, rumor is it they're talking about because of uh, – uh, of a big Biden win yesterday, not a Bernie Sanders win. So, um, so if you're trying to figure it out, 
I don't think it has anything with the coronavirus. Uh, that now all of a sudden everyone's healed. So that's still a big issue. We've got to keep an eye on it. Now, regarding about some stocks that moving this morning, we know a lot of the some of the stocks are, are moving. Some of the corona stocks are moving. If you're looking for some brand name stocks, if you're looking to buy something, I don't know, maybe it could be the time. But there are some nice movers out there. And uh, INO is obviously one of them. But listen, you have to be a level three, level four trader, a CTU trader. So be careful, INO. APIO is another one that came up on my radar right here of up 38%. Some of you remember this. We traded in January. The stock ran from $2 to about $7. Uh, you could see it was a huge short, short squeeze right there. So it is up nicely right now. It's got a nice move. Let me fix the time frame over here. So you can see a little bit better. So it's got some um, it, it's got some decent iceberg orders out there. You can look over here on the right on the matrix. Uh, I was looking over here on the NASDAQ total view. And I got a couple of them over here. I got 8,000 shares. You got some buyers out there and some sellers. Just focus on that. Uh, ZSAN, I just had that one up there. Yeah, that's the biggest one up right now. Cheap little stock. Only thing I don't like about it, it's a, it's a it's a penny stock. How do I know? Because you see the tenths of a penny popping up right there. Doesn't mean we still can't make money with it, but the thing is gapped up pretty big. And you know what? Once I, once I get above a dollar, it makes things a little bit safer. But that one's also moving pretty well. DYNY. Is that the one I had? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, D-Y-N-T. That's what it was. I made my... Look like, I made my T look like a, uh, a Y on my piece of paper. So this one gapped up huge. Okay, you can see we had we did really well with the DNY. That went from a dollar to three dollars, came right back down. Then she got back up uh, in pre-market. Pretty dangerous stock out there with this one too. Has a very very good spread. Just be very very careful. You can see those uh, candles, th those bar charts. You know things moving in ten cent intervals. So once again, don't let a two dollar stock fool you. This thing could hurt you. Big big sellers out there though. Look at that seventy uh, twenty two thousand share seller at two twenty seven. Big iceberg orders, 72,000, 21,000 right here between 210 and 212. So kind of know where the, the, maybe that, well, obviously you can see support levels right there. So at least, at least we know where the support and resistance levels are on that stock. Uh, one last stock I want to throw in there is AIM. That one also is gapped up pretty big, up 16%. Nice little move right there on that one too. Uh, you can see it's the fifth biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ. And uh, this one also, we've been trading it. Another, you know, uh, you know, I think it's another buy. I think it's another uh, pharmaceutical stock. But this one's moving pretty nicely too. She's starting to back off right now. So, you know, but she's got some support levels right around here. There's a, you can see that 10,000 share seller sitting there at 201. So, um, you got your, it's not a big watch list. Listen, today's Wednesday. It's usually a good day. I probably would focus on maybe looking at some brand name stocks. Uh, if you're looking to do some swing trades, once again, maybe maybe it's time to look into it. Like I told you, it takes a couple of days for the smoke to clear. If you're not hearing, too, listen, the more they keep talking about it, the worse it makes it. So um, a lot of good news didn't come out on it here in New York. They said they closed four public schools. That's not good. That is really not good. And you know what's not good about it? Just kind of let you know because this happens. The, the, the last thing they want to do is close a public school because it's not about the protection of the school, the kids, you know, which obviously is always most important. It's that the parents can't go to work and they got to take those kids at home so they can't go to work and make money. And then you heard about the whole situation about Morgan Stanley. They're going to let people stay home and work from home. So it, it's definitely a major issue. But the market obviously – it's not being affected by it. Um, I think a lot has to do with the with the election last night. So listen, not a big list. We got some brand names. If we see anything, we'll share it with you. So um, we're going to start commentating in about 15 minutes. And then last but not least, guys, just remember one thing. Uh, I will not be here in the afternoon. I will be on NASDAQ um, uh, news station tonight uh, today at 2.45. I'm going to be doing, doing a couple of demonstrations on Book Viewer again. Uh, it's a regular uh, – uh, you know, regular host there. So I'm going to be there this afternoon. So we'll send a bulk email. If you guys want to watch it, please go out there. Please go out there and tweet it, share it. I know we sent you guys an email on it. Uh, let everybody know uh, that we're going to be on uh, Cyber Train University is going to be on at NASDAQ Center. So, um, you know, like I said, always look forward to have you guys there supporting CTU and, uh, and, and going out and, and showing people the importance of it. So I'll see you all there too. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And last but not least, I forgot to mention, if you see something, 
say something in cyber group room, all right? We'll be starting commentating in about 15 minutes, so don't go anywhere. Thanks, everybody.